Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube channel background using GIMP. So first you can go ahead and open it up. And once it's opened, you want to go ahead and open up uh, the channel template. Uh, if you don't have it, you can download it from the link I have in the description box. Just go to open. Uh, I have it in documents, and it should be YouTube underscore beta underscore channel underscore template dot jpg select it and click open so you can just download that from the link I have in the description box it's free click open and so whenever you open it up it should look really small and most of you are wondering you know how is this gonna fit um, anything near the size of my channel well if you notice it's zoomed out to 25 percent so if you zoom into 100 percent it looks it makes more sense. It, it's a lot bigger and it goes around your YouTube boxes, uh, YouTube boxes on your channel. So I'm just going to zoom it out to about 33.5%. So, uh, first thing first, up here, if you notice, um, there's a small white bar. Well, these bars, they go on the sides of your box. But anyway, there's a small white bar right here. You want to go ahead and make sure that's filled in. So you can click on your rectangular or rectangle select tool, draw a rectangle, and then just fill it in with black. Go to my bucket tool. And then so if you go up to select and you click none, it matches perfectly. So uh looks good like that. So first you want to go ahead and design the sides of your uh channel. So draw a rectangle and make sure that the line um, around the rectangle is like purple and green otherwise it isn't perfectly matched up and then so that's that's all you have to do for that part so you want to determine the two colors that you want to blend so I will blend my channel colors that'll be like a teal and black then go up to your blend tool the gradient is good um, the mode should be normal but make sure that your shape is radial. So you go to the center, somewhere in the center of your uh, of your banner on the side, um, and then just click and drag a line. So I'll just try to find the center real quick. Uh, whoops! Make sure that the teal is on top and the black is on the bottom. Okay, so that looks that looks better. Um, let me change that around a little bit. Remember, both sides of your channel, um, uh, like right here, they're not gonna be perfectly uh the same. Like they might be a little bit different, but uh, most people don't really notice that. Um, I guess that's good. So. I'm just going to go up to select and click none. And you can go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Uh, just click on your rectangle select tool up here. Draw a rectangle. Make sure that the border is purple and green. If it's not, it's not perfectly lined up and you'll see like white lines. Just draw a rectangle and do the same thing. Just click on your blend tool and find the center and then just blend it. Uh, let me change that a little bit. Okay, that's good. So just go up to select whenever you're finished and click on none. If you want to make something in the center, um, you can just do the same thing. Just click on your rectangle select tool try to find the center um, right now it's probably much harder because it's all black and it's gonna be difficult to find the exact lining up maybe I'll do a little flame in there uh, you can go up to filters uh, render nature flame uh, edit EX randomize just try to find a cool flame okay let me change the camera a little bit so it could be zoomed in a 
a little bit more. Um, let me see. Okay, that looks good. Um, never mind. No, it's taking too long to load. Never mind. Um, but you can put anything you want basically in the center. Um, I'll just leave it black like that. Just click select none. So now, um, a bunch of people have been wondering how do you put text on the side of your channel? Um, first you want to go up sh to uh, Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and make sure that you have the Layers window. You'll need that for this next part. So make sure you just have the background layer, then click on Layer, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So now you should see this right here. Um, now you can just add your text on the the blue part or whatever color it is and um, make sure it doesn't go anywhere near that black because that's where your YouTube uh, channel boxes are going to be and uh, your text will cut off. I'll just type in computer tech you make it white and make it my font. Make that a little bit smaller. And now um, you can just put the text wherever you want to. Um, I'll try to put it a little bit in the center, like right there. Okay. And uh, you can add a drop shadow if you want to. Go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Whoops. And then that's what you have to do right there. And then before you rotate it 180 degrees, make sure that you merge down the text layer. So right click, click merge down, and then right click again and click merge down. And now you can go to layer, transform, rotate 180 degrees. Now you can just add another text layer um, that uh, looks just like that. So I'll just add another text layer right here. Um, Type in computer techie. Uh, make it white. Just like the original text. Um, you can uh, move it wherever you want to, but try to make it so that it is lined up with the text on the on the opposite side. So try to straighten that out a little bit. Move that over here. And you can just add a uh, drop shadow if you want to. Again, just go up to filters, drop shadow. And then that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, just click a merge down, merge down again, and then go up to layer, click on transform, and then click on rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So that's all I think I'm going to do with my YouTube channel template. Um, if you want to save it, you can uh, go ahead and go up to File and save it. Um, file, click on Save As, and I think I'll name it YouTube Channel. That JPG. Make sure you type in dot JPG. I'll type. I'll put it in my desktop. Click OK. Click export and make sure that the quality is 85. You can't go any higher and if you go any lower it'll look bad in quality. Make sure it's 85. Click OK. You can now close GIMP and that is really all you have to do um, to make a channel. So that is basically what it looks like in the end. Um, if Once again, if you don't have this template downloaded from the link I have in the description box, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message. Thanks.